Hi, everyone. How are you doing today? My name's Gwen, and today on the Oblivion Book Club, I know it's a feature that has not gotten a whole lot, but we're reading Magic from the Sky by Erlov Jarol. Jarol? I think that's probably how you say it. So, buckle up. You know, pull, pull a seat up by the fire, um, or your, your heating element rat, or your furnace vent, or whatever it is that you gain uh, warmth from. Get a cat. Put it on your lap. There you go. And then we're going to go ahead and read this. So, the ancient aliens believed that Nern was composed of four basic elements. Earth, water, air, and light. Okay, that, that thrown through me. I was like, I was ready to go into like a whole avatar thing, but uh, yeah, thanks game, you threw me off. And of, and of these four elements, they believe the most sublime form of light was starlight. The stars are our links to the plane of Aetherius, the source of all magical power, and therefore light from the stars is the most potent and exalted of all the magical powers. From time to time, fragments of Aeth Aetherius fall from the heavens. The people know these fragments as shooting stars, and from time to time... Such ethereal fragments are found on Nern. The most common varieties are known as meteoric iron. This metal is prized by armorers and enchanters for its properties in the forging of enchanted weapons and armor. This meteoric iron is also the primary component in Aelid Wells, ancient enchanted artifacts found throughout Cyrodiil. Another rarer form of ethereal fragment is called meteoric glass. It is from such fragments that other rare alien enchanted artifacts are crafted. Welkin stones and Varla stones. Alien wells are scattered across Cyrodiil's landscape. Their, their sighting... Their sighting? Yeah, I guess that's the proper word. Is a mystery. They are not associated with any known alien cities or settlements. It is presumed that, in some manner, they harvest magical power from starlight. It is also suggested, without evidence or support, that they are located at the meeting points of ancient lines of magical power. Some would call those ley lines, but I don't think you've got that in the, you know, the lore necessarily of uh, the Elder Scrolls. But, uh, but I guess that would be the, the, the common equivalent. Sure. However, modern arcane arts have discerned no perceptible evidence of such lines of power. Interesting. Those with magical talents can draw magicka from alien wells to restore their own reservoirs of magical power. No ritual or arcane knowledge is necessary, suggesting that these wells were designed to serve persons not s skilled in the magical arts. Once drained, the wells replenish again, only at magical midnight. At magical midnight! Once recharged, they appear to radiate magical power back into the sky, which prompts some to theorize they are also objects with religious or magical ritual significance, perhaps a means of offering magic back to the heavens. Welkin stones, Aldemir's sky stone, heaven stone, literally sky child, are pieces of cut and enchanted meteoric glass which apparently act as storage devices for magical power. A magical talent can restore his reservoirs of magicka from such stones. Alas, the means of restoring power to these stones may have been lost with the aliens. Currently, these objects simply crumble to dust after they have been used. Great Welkin stones are, are exceptionally large pieces of enchanted meteoric glass. Scholars believe that at the heart of each ancient alien city, a great Welkin stone was the source of the settlement's magical enchantments. It may be that these great stones were linked to the lesser stones, restoring and maintaining their power. You know, honestly, the more I'm reading this, the more I'm like, I want more of this in the game. Like, I want to I want to see more of this alien stuff. Sounds interesting. Like, I, I want more history on that. Right? Right? Yeah, okay. Uh, and maintaining their power. In any case, research on these great Welkin stones is impossible since all the known alien ruins have been looted of their great stones, and no examples of these great stones are known to survive. If they've been looted, are they somewhere? Does a collector have one? That'd be cool. Be a nice quest. Wink, wink, game. Do it. <laughs> I'm asking for stuff in a very old game. Another rare enchanted item found in alien ruins is called a Varla Stone. Aldemir's Star Stone. The Varla Stones are remarkably powerful, enab enabling untrained users to restore magical energy to any number of enchanted items. All right. So, Welkin Stones, restore your magic. Varla Stones, recharge uh, enchanted items. All right. 
Um, because of their great value and utility, these items are also extremely rare, but since they are small and easily concealed, diligent explorers may still occasionally come across them in any alien ruin. Alien wells, welkin stones, varla stones. Consider then, these marvels of magical enchantment. Are we then to conclude that the aliens were a superior race and culture? Did they so exceed us in art and craft that they mock the feeble powers of the third of third era wizards? Never! Of course not! Of course not, because that would make you look bad, and uh, of course, you can't look bad, you just, you know, mm -hmm. Never. The aliens were powerful, yes, and cunning, but they were neither good nor wise, and so they were struck down. Their works have passed from Nern, save these rare and sparkling treasures. Their ancient cities are dark and empty, save for the grim revenants and restless spirits condemned forever to walk the halls, keeping their melancholy vigils over bones and dust. You sound a little there. You sound a little, um... Thank you. Hey, phone. How are you doing? You sound a little grumbly there. Sorry for that interruption. Now that we're done, I can end this. Uh, so that has been the Oblivion Book Club. Um, welcome and uh, goodbye. I will see you back in the regular adventuring in Oblivion. I hope that you enjoyed the read. I learned something. I, I kind of suspected I already knew, but it was kind of nice to see it written out. It was, it was great, so... Yes, until next time. Game on, or something. I don't know how I usually end these. Woo 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 woo.